Now I had been loading um, uh, this circuit with a one mega ohm, uh, as I anticipate to do, but just to check the general concept of the vent and resistance, I'm going to instead uh, use a 10K uh, resistor. So these are 10K. Here's a 10K resistor. And keep in mind the 10K resistor is very similar to these Thevenin resistances. So I expect to see a voltage drop about a factor of two. In other words, the voltage should drop in about a half when I add the 10K, again, it's a 10K resistor as a load. So let's give that a try. I put it from ground. to the load and zero divided by two is zero. One divided by about 10K, uh, the Venon resistance here. So this is 4.6K and I'm using a 10K so I'm getting a drop of about a third. And then with this one, I expect a drop of closer to two, so from two volts to one. So from two to 1.2, I'm gonna write these numbers down. So these are the loaded values. Goes from two volts to 1.18. From one volt to 0 0.71. And from zero volts, of course, we still get zero volts. And these are all loading with a 10 kilo ohm load resistor. Substantial drops of almost a factor of two for each of these um, voltages because the Thevenin resistance is approximately um, equal to that load resistance. And in fact, a careful analysis uh, such as I did in the notes would show that these numbers are all very, very close to being exactly correct. Again, if I say pull that load, say this 0.71, and I pull the 10K load out, right back up to one volt and right back up to two volts for the unloaded case.